Around every corner lurks a death worse than the paranoia brought on by living. Welcome back, my fellow gamers. This is Top 10 Gaming, and I'm your host, Amanda McKnight. Today, we are here to talk about the deaths in Among Us and rank them based on the most horrific and gruesome to the least. We'll be examining the Among Us kill animations in detail and talking about our favorite ones and which keep us up at night. Join me as we count down the top 10 scary Among Us kills. Which do you think will make the number one spot? Let's find out and get counting. Number 10, Consumed. This fan-made kill is part of a series of game-inspired kill animations for Among Us from Landonardo on YouTube. It's possibly my favorite from that series and one of the most both hilarious and terrifying kills imaginable. In this animation, Mario takes on the role of imposter and alongside their trusty steed Yoshi, portrayed here by Lime Green, they defeat the crewmate by allowing Lime Green Yoshi to consume them. Yoshi devours the crewmate before laying an egg with them or their corpse inside. I assume their corpse actually is while in Super Mario or Smash Bros. These eggs are only temporary prisons. In Among Us, these animations are meant to imply death. So that means your dead body would just be like all contorted and made to fit in that small egg. Yikes. Number nine, Blade Storm. This fan-made kill animation also comes to us from Landonardo on YouTube and is game reference to Riot's Valorant and Jet's ultimate ability. Jet is part of the Duelist class and an agent that you can play in Valorant. Her ultimate is known as Bladestorm in the game. This ability allows her to summon multiple throwing knives, which she can throw then one at a time or all at once at her target. In fact, getting a kill in this way also is beneficial to that ability. So if Jet were the imposter using her ability to kill a crewmate at Among Us, she'd only be more deadly. I don't know about you, but getting hit with a bunch of throwing knives does not sound like an easy way to go for me. I don't want a bunch of throwing knives in my face. Yikes, that would be a scary kill animation. And just a reminder, if you are enjoying this list and you want more Among Us content, please do show us by giving this video a thumbs up. Number eight, blam blam. As much as this one is horrifying because, well, guns, it is also so quick, I have a tendency to sometimes miss it, which to me reduces its level of scare. Also, is a quick kill more horrific or less horrific? I suppose it is more unexpected, but it's not something that will likely keep you awake as much at night. In this kill animation, the imposter uses its disembodied hand to present a firearm and takes aim at its crewmate victim, often before you even have a moment to react and realize, oh shoot, I'm dead. Number seven, Unexpected Sword. This fan-made kill animation evokes Eris' fate in Final Fantasy and makes it that more gruesome. In fact, even though Eris' character seems to be the crewmate in this scenario and Cloud is the imposter, it's kind of hard to tell as the Death is obviously meant to refer to the way Sephiroth ends Aerith's life in the games. So is Sephiroth then the imposter? In a way, Cloud in this scenario could also be seen as a victim, especially with that close-up perspective shot we get from him where he is looking down at dead Aerith while covered in her blood. It's very gruesome and it's very dramatic. However, I guess the kill animation here would be that the imposter is like kind of baiting you, making you feel like a false sense of security will dress up as Cloud before that long sword comes in from the right to finish you, right from behind you, right in the back. Number six, Neck Snap. Even though this kill animation is notorious for being another quick and almost unnoticeable one due to it happening so fast, it's also an animation that often leaves players startled due to, well, just how fast it happens. For some reason as well, the idea of someone using their hands to like snap your neck also just makes me feel more uneasy. I don't know what it is. Perhaps the sheer strength of my opponent being shown in this way. I mean, while necks are a more vulnerable area of the human body, they're also made up of tons of little tiny muscles and big muscles, which has always made me feel like uh, snapping someone's neck has not just got to take a bunch of commitment, but a lot of brute strength as well. I think this also being a death that is enacted with the imposter's very own two hands also makes it more frightening. Number five, everything floats, including the balloon that this it in inspired imposter will kill you with. This animation is part of a series of horror animations that are not available in game, yet anyways, but instead were made by Among Us fan, animator, and Twitter user, Mectado. Mectado I think also has YouTube as well. The kill animation here features 
an imposter dressed up like a clown presenting their victim with a single red balloon. Which, although it appears as a seemingly nice gesture, any fan of it would know that this balloon is much more deadly than it appears, and at the very least is an extremely bad omen for the crewmate receiving it. The red balloon pops, and in so doing kills the targeted crewmate by causing them to be sliced in half. Yeah, that's pretty scary. I like how this animation also includes the single bone detail in the center of our crewmate's corpse. That's some good attention to detail there. Because, you know, we all only have one bone in our body for some reason. <laughs> Number four, stabbed in the back. I think this one is so terrifying because of how it kind of just like looms over you. Sure, the alien tongue pierce kill animation is unexpected, but we imposters wielding knives are something you see everywhere these days. It's part of promotional graphics for Among Us and is something commonly featured in memes, meaning that the image of a crewmate suffering multiple stab wounds is prominent in your mind. An animation that possibly haunts your nightmares in every waking in-game moment. So when it does happen to be the animation you get, it's almost like a nightmare that becomes realized in actual life. Or well, just in-game life, really. Phew. Not like real life. Thank goodness. Number three, come with me. This animation is another fan-made one from Twitter user Mactado from their horror series of kill animations. This one is inspired by Poltergeist, a film that you might not be familiar with if you were born after the year 2000. Poltergeist is a film from 1982 about a little girl who gets stolen away from her family by spirits by being pulled through the TV. And that is just what the animation here shows. For some reason, the fact that we clearly see the presence grabbing the crew mate with its claw-like hand before pulling it into another dimension, traveling through the giant television box set, makes it even more horrifying on a level that some of these other animations just can't compete with for me. I also love that the imposter is still present for the kill animation with them being responsible for like sicking the spirit on their prey with the push of a button. Oof, it's cold. I love it. Number two, big ol' face hug. As nice as having your face hugged to death sounds, in comparison to some of the others, this kill animation in reality would be one of the most terrifying to experience. This animation is not available in game, but instead is one of the fan-made animations created by Twitter user McTotto. It takes inspiration from the Alien movie franchise. Among Us itself is already inspired by that franchise, so this one would make a ton of sense to actually have appear in the game, if Inner Sloth could, you know, get the permission and licensing rights to use it. Instead of featuring the imposter specifically that did the deed, in its place is an egg which hatches a face hugger. The face hugger then leaps onto the crewmate's face. While both face hugger and crewmate tumble down to the floor together, the crewmate meets a grisly end when a little alien bursts from its chest. Like I said, not a pleasant way to go. Number one, tongue stab. The is the tongue pierce kill the most terrifying? Or is it the most humorous? Or is it somehow both? I think I'm gonna go with that, actually. I find this death both entertaining and horrific. In it, the imposter crewmate uses its sword-like tongue to stab its victim through the face, implying an insta-kill moment. I think this is more scary in terms of what it implies and actually imagining some real-world version of it. This is the kind of kill action that you would see in a horror movie, but the animation itself is not as scary. It's really the idea of this kill that puts it so high up on our list and gives it that top spot. What do you think are some of the most horrific kills in Among Us? Which do you find the most frightening? What kind of kill animations would you love to see added to the game? And are there any cool like fan-made ones that you want to share? Would you play a survival horror version of Among Us? Let us know in the comments below. And speaking of comments, it's time to turn to some comments from one of our latest videos, top 10 worst video game movies of all time. River Brecken plays comments, I liked Warcraft and Need for Speed. They aren't perfect, but they have potential. I agree with you. I actually really liked Warcraft and I will admit I actually watched Need for Speed like the other night. Yeah, I mean, it's hard because I feel like it's actually a pretty good racing movie, except the plot's a little loose, but it's also just like, I don't know why they needed to make it a Need for Speed movie. I'm like, just make this a racing movie. That would be fine. I guess they had crazy cars like in Need for Speed. And then in the race, they all get wrecked. So I'm like, you, you won nothing. You won, I guess you're innocent now. I don't know but you still have to go to prison. Ugh, it's confusing. Kanan Martinez states, the House of Dead movie is an insult for the franchise. Wow, so uh, I just watched the trailer. I didn't even know this movie existed and I just watched the trailer for it. And yeah, that movie looks terrible. It looks so bad. I need to watch it though. It looks so bad. I have to watch it. <laughs> 
So thank you for bringing that up. Mercury the Hedgehog shares, Detective Pikachu, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Pixels are my favorite video game movies. Two amazing movies and one meh and cool movie. Yeah, that's fair. And I mean, I didn't also mean to rag on Pixels at all. I still think Pixels is a fine movie. I just, you know, I gotta pick some to be the worst. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I actually also really like the Super Mario Brothers movie. I'm just gonna say it. I know it's bad, but I still love it. So hey. Also, Detective Pikachu and Sonic are both great. So yeah, couldn't even talk about those ones. And that's all the time we have for comments today. Be sure to comment below for a chance to have your thoughts and feels shouted out in a future video. This has been Top 10 Gaming, and I'm your host, Amanda McKnight, reminding you to keep on gaming on. Pew pew!